guys and welcome back to another video this time we're doing something a little bit different um just because we are looking at something that's not from either world war two or from star wars like i usually do my mocks based off of um but this time we're going to look at something um renaissance age this is a desert battle between the british and the french and the french have a entrenched uh, cannon here that they are trying to defend and a, just a made-up king of France is here to watch the battle unfold here and as you can see there are plenty of men on both sides but it is looking more and more like the French are going to win this battle so without further ado guys let's get into the custom minifigures that I've done here Although the French are probably more custom than the British are. Um, the most custom British uh, guy I have is actually the officer. Um, believe it or not, his chest padding is actually from a ninja from one of the old Ninjago sets. And then he has the uh, British Imperial hat that Lego actually did make. He has a revolver and a combat knife with him. This is the early 1800s, by the way. Um, so end of the Renaissance, beginning of the Industrial Revolution. Um, this is no particular battle, just some kind of, you know, just a fun made-up battle. Um, he has no back printing or leg printing. Um, here is our average British soldier here. I gave him a backpack, um, one of my Brick Arms rifles, and I gave them all their own unique face. Um, they actually have two different types. I have this British soldier and this British soldier, and I guess the explanation is they're just two different uh, regiments. But we have five British soldiers with the officer, um, four of which are lined up in a firing line like they used to in the olden days. Now let's look at the French soldiers. So we have one guardsman um, with a spear. We have the king himself who has you know, a sword and shield and a crown. We have the guy firing the cannon, who's basically just a jumble of a bunch of different uh, figures that I put together here. Um, then we have this um, French soldier with a bayonet weapon. We have our average French soldier. I have three of these. Um, they have the cool, you know, armor padding interesting helmet. The helmets, I think, are from some other old uh, Ninjago sets. I'm not sure. I'm not really up to Ninjago stuff. Maybe you'll leave a comment down below to let me know what uh, figures these sets, what sets these figures come from. Excuse me. What figures these sets come from. Um, because I'm really curious as to where these guys come from. I just found them in a bin put them together, and then gave them the musket rifles. So I have three of those guys um, that are really unique. And then I have my cannon, which you may have seen in past mocks. I, I like using it a lot. Um, it has a cool uh, pull technique that I used um, to build a cannon, which is actually the stoplight. If you see it standing up, you'll recognize it. It's the stoplight. Um, and then I have two other pieces connected to that and then I have the wagon wheels and this makes the cannon is this um, little piece back here that they usually use for the horse sets so I thought that was really cool to build and I love using it that's probably one of my longest running little builds that I've had I've had that for a long time probably since the beginning of last year I've had that cannon um, but that will do it for this video, guys. Um, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please be sure to like and subscribe. I have new videos coming out every couple of days. And if I reach 50 subscribers by August 1st, I will do my first live stream. So, guys, without further ado, I will see you on the next one.